Hello, in this short video I'll show you how to test the outputs of the 60F extension board. Um, I have a little oscilloscope to do the measurement, but you can easily try a multimeter for example, just measure the voltage. I just uh, using this for the easiness of showing graphically in the video some stuff. Uh, I'll show you the basic components I'm using. You see here is the, uh, the oscilloscope. This is the probe. I attached a wire to to test the voltages on the edge of the probe. The ground I already connected. The alligator clip is connected to the ground. This is the uh, gra common ground for all the connections for analog at for digital. Um, I have it all connected. I just put three potassium I had uh, available in these ports so I can set all of them to 50%. I'm gonna click it inside more so you can see it numer numerical. See it 9, 99%, 0%. Just leave it in the middle or almost in the middle. Get out of there. Okay. So uh, I'll have to connect 24 volts here to measure the 24 volt signals uh, output for the direction here. And uh, this one, the 24 volts also provide power for the amplifier chips for the 0 to 10 volts here. So this is the power supply I have, this is giving 24 volts. I'm gonna connect the 20, let me see, I'm gonna connect the ground first. So the other side will go to the black here, which is the ground. Okay, and then I have the red cable is the 24 volt positive. So before we go to do the measurement, you need to change some settings uh, in the menu. Like uh, let's see, change the PID to ten. Like you go, oh, go back. It should be like 30 or something or higher, just set it to 10. It will be easier for the measurement. Okay. Then, we uh, can leave that there. Where is the max speed? There it is, max speed. Online speed, set it to 100. Offline motor speed, to the higher 99. And save it. I don't think it needs anything else. Alright, let's go back to the screen. Now, to test it, I have the oscilloscope here, which um, they has some settings. Let me zoom there so you can see it. Uh, it's not focusing. Okay, there it is. So, what you have to test to set first is the voltage level. And, uh, when you power it on, it should be in 5 volts. So, I set it to 25 volts so I can measure the 24 volt signals here. And then, the time base um, you can make it uh, slower. You can see it updates slow. 
or a little faster so it, it's like that's very fast so usually um, so this is the divisions per section so you can see it so usually 500 ms is good enough timing so you can see the changes I'll just leave it there now let me grab the, os the oscilloscope probe right. so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna measure the digital connections first now this one if you see it should be zero you see I'm changing the direction using the buttons when you apply the buttons there it changes some direction left and right All right so you can just uh, leave the position message to 50% instead of uh, providing the feedback from there it just use the buttons to change the direction it's easier when you measure it so I'll just put it on the last one there you can see it changes the direction if I put it to the next one it will be floating so let me put it this is one direction this is the other direction now you can do the same for the rest okay Now, I found out that this chip I have here, uh, the first one, the row, that provides signals for this, is bad. That's why I decided to make the video, so you have to test that to make sure that it's only this chip. So, the signals usually go uh, on the 5 volt level in this row here, and then uh, get amplified to the 4 volts from the uh, Dalicton array here. So this one here, this pin here, it's from this tip. So if I change direction, I will see five volt signals down there. You see, you have lower level. So if I try here, I'm still seeing signals there, but not in the output there. So it means this tip is bad. Okay. Yep. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change it. First of all, I need to unplug the 24 volts for the source there. I'm gonna change it quickly. Now make sure there's no power anywhere. Uh, you can use a screwdriver to remove it from the IC base. I have it a little loose for the easiness of taking off now for the video. You can place the other one, the new one, with the correct polarity, right, like the next one. There's a little tab to source the polarity there, so it match the polarity on the tab on the chip. Okay, let's put it there. That looks good. Now let's connect again the board, let's apply the power, alright, now let's see what's going on with 24 volts here, yep, we can actually measure now 24 volts direction and signals correctly, if you see it like uh, making like lines like that or let me increase it so you can see this is because it's switching fast because the potentiometer is, is producing little noise it's not sure where to go in the middle position that's normal it's noise existing so I'm just gonna test the rest of the connections there looks nice okay so all these are good. 
Now, another way to uh, another, another thing you have to do is to check the uh, analog outputs. You can check first. Uh, let me change the level, the voltage level. Make it 10 volts. So I can see 10 volts here at 5 volts. Let's see the first port. Okay, this is a little fast. Let me change the time base. Slower. Okay, there it is. So I'm, I'm testing first the analog outputs. You can see the ones that, that don't have potassium that make make noise here, like this one. Another way to test the analogs uh, is you can set the deep switch here, the third one, so you set unidirectional mode. So what it does, it makes the voltage go one direction all the way down to all the way up. At 50% uh, is the middle. <clears throat> and you can do the same for the rest, you can check them. Uh, now on the analog part, you can place it there and you can see the level. Alright, from 0 to 9 volts. And this one the same. This one has some noise there because of the potassium that I touched. But at least I get signal there. Okay, so the same, so it's good. So I'm just using the buttons to set the target and uh, automatically the output changes to uh, provide signal for the speed for that specific motor. Right now, you know, all this is not really accurate because of I just have some Chip potentiometer there to just to keep the level straight there for the testing. Um, I think that's pretty much all. Don't forget when you're done uh, testing, put the bi directional down. Uh, if you leave this up, they won't this they won't work anymore. It's only analog, so you need to have it down to have both direction and analog outputs. Um, until the next video, thank you.